case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1999, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Clinton v. Goldsmith, which revolved around the limitations of the All Writs Act in relation to military courts. James Goldsmith, an officer in the U.S. Air Force, had been sentenced by a military court to six years in confinement and forfeiture of pay for disobedience and assault. Upon being informed of his removal from the Air Force, Goldsmith filed a petition under the All Writs Act to prevent the action, but the Court of Criminal Appeals rejected his claim. Goldsmith then argued that his removal was unconstitutional and pursued the case further, leading the Court of Appeals for the Armed Forces, CAF, to issue an injunction using the All Writs Act to stop the Air Force from removing him. However, the Supreme Court ultimately decided that the CAF had overstepped its jurisdiction and reversed the decision. The Supreme Court ruled that the All Writs Act could not be used to expand the KAF's jurisdiction and that the KAF had no authority over the Air Force's decision to remove Goldsmith from service. The court stated that the appropriate course of action for Goldsmith would have been to present his claim to the Air Force Board for Correction of Military Records, BCMR, and, if necessary, seek recourse in federal trial courts. By clarifying the limitations of the All Writs Act, the Supreme Court confirmed that alternative relief avenues were available for individuals in similar situations, and military courts could not use the act to grant themselves powers they were not originally given. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.